Okay, significant figures the easy way. Okay, here's how it works. Up here we have just about every kind of number situation you might run across in a chemistry class. Here's how you figure out, first of all, precision. If there is no decimal point in the number, then the precision, or place that the measurement was made to, is whichever integer is in the furthest right place. Or, if there's a line over a zero, If there's no decimal point, then it's the final integer. Okay, what if there is a decimal point? If there is a decimal point, then the precision is whichever place it's furthest over to the right side. It's the rightmost digit, no matter what it is, in the measurement. The rightmost digit in the measurement is the precision. And it goes for measurements that are smaller than one also. Because again, if there's a decimal point in the measurement, the rightmost digit, whatever place it's in, that is the precision of the measurement. All right? The number of significant figures is found very easily. You can do this either in your head or you can do it on paper by marking up your numbers. Underline all the digits starting from the first non-zero going until the precision runs out. First integer until the precision runs out. First integer till the precision runs out. First integer till the precision runs out. Or if you prefer, first non-zero till the precision runs out. First non-zero until 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 the precision runs out. This works in every possible instance when you're trying to find the number of significant figures in a measurement. The number of digits you underlined is the number of significant figures in the measurement. One sig fig, two, three, four, five, six, seven sig figs. Two, three, four, three, four, four, five, six, seven sig figs in the measurement. One, two, three, three, two, three, one, two, three, three, four, five sig figs in each of those measurements. So once again, if your measurement does not have a decimal point, your precision is whichever is the rightmost non-zero or a zero with a line over it. If there is a decimal point, your precision is simply the rightmost place. The number of significant figures are the number of digits from the first non-zero to where the precision runs out. And that is the only rule you need for significant figures.